What does ESR mean in capacitor? We want to understand the role of capacitor in a circuit. What is a capacitor? This is the capacitor. This is a capacitor. These yellow pieces are also capacitors. This blue piece is also a capacitor. There are electrolyte capacitors that have positive and negative poles. Ceramic capacitors do not have poles. This is a disk capacitor or polyester capacitor that does not have a pole. These are X capacitors, which are placed at the beginning of the input of the circuit and are used to remove noise and as a filter. This capacitor is MKT. Capacitors have two main features. One is voltage and the other is capacity. This capacitor is 35 volts and has a capacity of 220 microfarads. This is also a capacitor with capacity and voltage written on it. In addition to the two main characteristics, which were voltage and capacity, there are other factors that influence the work of the capacitor, such as frequency, appearance, temperature tolerance, and several other factors. MKT capacitors often tolerate higher frequencies. For this reason, in the type of switching power supply, they use the MKT capacitor which is placed in series with the transformer. Maybe in some circuits, polyester capacitors are used. The MKT capacitor can win state high frequency, but it does not have a large capacity. Electrolyte capacitors can have a large capacity. There is another capacitor called Tentalum that is not present in this circuit. Pay attention to the picture. They have a small dimensions, but the capacity is high. They also have few casualties. They have polarity, that is, positive and negative poles. They do not perform well at high frequency because they have higher ESR than polyester capacitors. What do we mean by ESR? ESR in the internal resistance of the capacitor. When the capacitor is damaged, its internal resistance increases. So, according to the existing table, we should compare the value of ESR according to the capacitor capacity with the table. If a capacitor is damaged, its ESR value will always increase, not decrease. Because ceramic capacitors are multi-layered, it's possible to produce noise due to voltage fluctuation. But the tentalum capacitor is not sensitive to voltage fluctuation and produces less noise. It means that it has very little noise. But what is the use of capacitor in the circuit? There are two capacitors in the primary input of the circuit. These capacitors perform energy storage, which is the main function of a capacitor in a circuit. When needed, this stored energy is released. So, the failure of this capacitor can reduce the power of the circuit. In the output section, there are several capacitors that are in parallel. The role of these capacitors is to reduce the voltage ripple. In fact, it produces a clean and smooth DC voltage at the output. Consider this example. Time axis, voltage axis. The voltage created in the transformer reaches the Schrodinger diode. This diode is fast type and has three pins. The voltage becomes DC in this way. When the voltage enters the capacitor, these ripples are eliminated. In this way, the capacitor will be charged and discharged. Which we consider as DC voltage and in the form of a straight line. The higher the capacity of the capacitors, the better they eliminate the ripple. But there are restrictions because it takes a lot of current from the diode, the diode gets hot. 
So, we found that these are energy storage capacitor and these are ripple elimination capacitors. These capacitors are also for eliminating ripple and energy storage. These two are the frequency capacitor. But first, let's check the coupling capacitor. If a signal is in this path, for example, a sine wave, which is widely used in amplifier and audio circuits, if this sine wave is at zero volt, right here, there is no DC voltage. But if it is at the top of the chart, it means that there is a DC voltage along with the sine wave. Therefore, if the input voltage is here, we put a capacitor in series in the cell. We call this coupling capacitor. It blocks the passage of the DC current, so the DC current does not pass. And only the sine wave passes. So it is placed on the horizontal axis. This means that the DC voltage that caused the signal to go up on the graph is removed. This is the function of the coupling capacitor. Now, here is another capacitor called decoupling, which is also called bypass. The bypass capacitor is parallel, not series. This is the signal. Here is the output. Here is the bypass capacitor, which is usually connected to zero volts. It transmits high frequency signal or noise to the ground. Let me give an example. In a circuit similar to this, there is voltage on the collector. This is the emitter. A resistor is connected to zero volts. We input an audio signal to the base pin. This is base resistance because we need to decrease the current in the base pin so that the transistor turns on and the current flow from the collector to the emitter. The current that enters through the collector is reduced through this resistance and reaches the ground. Here we will put a bypass capacitor. This capacitor makes AC signal pass through and reach the ground. In amplifier circuit, the output is in the collector. This resistance reduces the sound because it limits the flow. While the sound reaches the ground from the capacitor, we have a louder and a smoother sound at the output. If we put some other capacitors with different capacities, we can transmit different frequencies. There is one more capacitor. This component is called a condenser microphone. This capacitor changes its capacity according to environmental factors, such as sound. So, that is also a type of capacitor that is not used in switching circuits. How does this capacitor work? The VCC voltage enters through this resistor. enters the condenser microphone. The second pin is connected to the ground or zero volt. Here is the output. So, when the sound enters into the condenser microphone, the capacitance of this capacitor changes and the signal are generated here. The DC voltage of this signal must be eliminated. So, we place a coupling capacitor because the VCC voltage can enter through this pass and damage the amplifier. Therefore, we must put coupling capacitor. We place a resistor and connect it to the base of the transistor. This is NPN transistor. The voltage enters through this route. When the voltage reaches the base pin, this transistor is activated. 
we place a current reducing resistor on the emitter. And we connect the VCC voltage to the collector through a resistor. Of course, we can remove the collector resistance. The circuit output is on the collector. The sound that changes the capacity of the capacitor. It passes through the coupling capacitor and DC voltage is eliminated. It reaches the base of the transistor. The transistor is turned on. And with the help of the voltage on the collector, which can be a high voltage, which signals are amplified. Thank you for liking the video and watching.